immediately his heart lifted because here at last was an answer that sounded like it might be the right one. He rode off in high spirits, leaving Lady Raniel with a promise that if it was the right answer, she could have whatever she wished for. He met the Black Knight, gave him Lady Raniel's answer, and it was the right answer. He ransomed his life and he wrote back, thank Lady Raniel with all his heart. He says, what is it that your heart desires? If it is in my power, I will grant it to you. He said, I'd like to have one of your knights for my husband. <laughs> but ladies, I cannot direct my knights whom they should marry, as opposed to your maidens, I suppose, he, she said, knowing that he had married off any number of young ladies for his own political event. Very well. I will take it before the round table. He called the round table together and told all the knights what he had promised, what Lady Raniel had asked for. And all these fine, brave men looked at each other. Mary, the loathly damsel. Oh no! What a horrible fate! Finally, the king's nephew, Sir Gawain, said, I'll do it. You, Gawain, who could marry any woman you choose, you would marry the loathly damsel. It's my duty as your nephew. Gawain <laughs> marched out into the hall, knelt down at Lady Raniel's side, and said, Lady, would you do me the honor to be my wife? Now, Raniel had supposed that Arthur would be able to bribe or bully somebody into proposing to him. Never in her wildest dreams that she thought it would be Gawain. Nevertheless, she was late. She looked down her nose at him. I suppose the king put you up to this. Indeed, this is the answer to your request for a boon. Not good enough, Gawain. I don't want a husband that comes to me <clears throat> out of a sense of duty. I want to be courted. I want to be wooed. I want to be loved. <coughs> She pulled off her lace glove, and she slapped Gawain across the face. That is your challenge, Sir Knight. And Gawain picked up her and raised it to her. I accept your challenge. And it was a challenge. <laughs> Gawain had always had good luck with women, but uh, he never had to court one before. They came to him. <laughs> Nevertheless, he tried. He sent her flowers. He picked them himself and arranged them himself. He had absolutely no talent for arranging flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it was the thought that counts. <laughs> he found a lute and stood under her bed in the window serenaded her with love sorrow. He wasn't that bad. <laughs> he sought her company on all occasions and engaged her in conversation and Gawain was a good conversation. She learned from Gawain and perhaps learned to modify her striding tone and, and learn a little tact. When it was dance, Gawain would have no other partner. Gawain knew all the latest dances and steps. Right now, only knew the steps of all young ladies learned. But she followed Gawain, and it turned out that she had not only a talent for it, but an adventuresome spirit. And soon they were dancing together so brilliantly that the rest of the people would step to the side and just watch. And when the dance was over, they would clap. This was a 
a new experience for right now. When there was a tournament, Gawain asked Raniel for her favor. Instead of a scarf, <coughs> she gave him a petticoat. And Gawain hung it on the tip of his lance and carried it like a banner. The old folks were horrified. <laughs> the young people thought it was wonderful. They started a whole new trend. <laughs> And so it went. And by the time a year and a day was up, once again Gawain knelt and asked Lady Ragnall to be his wife. This time it was not from duty, but because he was really in love. And she accepted him in the same spirit. And the marriage was celebrated with great joy. One day. Ceremonies were all over with, and they retired to their chambers. Well, I won't intrude on their privacy, but I can't tell you this. <laughs> well, Raniel said to Gawain, Now that I am your wife, how would you have me behave? Would you prefer that I become quiet and meek and modest as befits the wife of an important knight? So long as I am bold and adventurous when we're alone together. And then she smiles. She says, or maybe you would prefer me to be meek and simplistic when we're alone together. In case I promise you that I would be outrageous when we're alone together. But Wayne wasn't that angry. That's a decision I cannot make. You must have your own way in this. And Raniel clapped her hands. He says, you found the answer to Arthur's riddle. What is it that every woman desires? To have her own way. To have the right to make her own choices and her own decisions. And that is why another title of the story is the Sovereignty of the <laughs>